Hello and welcome to Alpha Moisture Systems training sessions. My name is Dan. In this training session, example of sampling, we're going to show how to take a dew point measurement from a sample of gas or air using the SAB 3 mini 2 washable dew point. It's important to note that before using the SAB 3 mini 2 for sampling, the desiccant head should be in the closed position. It's important to keep it in the closed position for a period of time before sampling so the sensor remains in a dry state. If I turn the instrument on, you can see that the screen will indicate that the sensor is at the dry end of the scale. When the desiccant head is in the closed position, the sensor is kept in a dry state. And this is important as going from a dry reading to a wet reading is always much quicker. If you're using a fir tree fitting, then the units are supplied with two meters of PTFE tube, which has an ID of quarter inch, or six millimeters, which allows fitting to the fir tree. If you're using a compression fitting, then stainless steel tube can be used. We're also assuming for this example of sampling that the sample is free from particulate or liquid contamination. If there is any particulates in the gas sample, then we would advise using a filter such as this prior to the sample going to the SEDP Mini 2. Coalescing filters are also available for removing liquids. When sampling, we recommend a flow rate of sample gas to the instrument of between 5 to 15 litres per minute, or maximum 20 litres per minute. One way of measuring the sample flow rate is to use a flow indicator such as this on the outlet of the instrument. In this example, the flow indicator has a range of 0 to 20 litres per minute. Alternatively, if no flow indicator is available, then you can hold your finger at the outlet pipe and judge the flow rate by feeling the flow of gas or air on your finger. When sampling, it's important to note that a pressure greater than 0.3 of a bar G or 4 psi must never be applied to the instrument. On the size of the instrument, there's a warning explaining this. If the inlet pressure is above this, then either a pressure regulator or needle valve must be used before the instrument to reduce the pressure to the required level. The following procedure for sampling will give you the best practice for this and also the quickest results in taking a sample. In this example, we have a dry gas bottle connected to a needle valve via a potentially stainless steel hose to represent a sample point. From the needle valve, we have a short length of PTFE tube which we can connect to the Mini 2. The pressure in the bottle is about 10 bar, which is approximately 145 psi. The pressure in the supply is less than 10 bar G, which is about 145 psi G. So in this case, we are fine using a needle valve. For pressures higher than 10 bar G or 145 psi G, we would recommend a pressure regulator instead of a needle valve at the sample point. From the needle valve, we have a reasonably short length of PTFE tube, which we will connect to the SAB3 Mini 2. Always remember to keep the sample line reasonably short, otherwise there'll be a long length of line to dry out um, during the purging time before measuring the moisture content using the instrument. At the moment, the sample line is not connected to the instrument because we're going to purge this line out before we connect it to the Mini 2. Now going to open the needle valve carefully to allow the sample gas to purge through the line to atmosphere. Purge through for at least two minutes to make sure that any residual moisture in the line is purged out. After finishing the purge through the sample line to atmosphere, we're going to connect the tube to the Mini 2 using the fur tube connection on the side. It's by pushing the pipe on like this. It doesn't matter which side it's connected to, the flow can be either direction. We're then going to open the valve to purge through the instrument for at least two minutes. When opening the valve, be very careful not to overpressurize the head. Pressure must never be above 0.3 of a bar G or 4 psi G in the head of the FADP unit. For low pressure or low flow rate applications, ensure that there's a short length of PTFA tube on the outlet of the instrument as well. This prevents any back diffusion of moisture from the ambient air into the measurement head. Once you've purged through the instrument with the head closed, 
raise the head by blocking the outlet of the Mini 2 like this. The head will rise, release, and you can see the dew point reacting immediately to the change in moisture content in the sample gas. Never pull the head up manually because this will allow moisture to be drawn in through the outlet connection. When the reading has stabilised on the display, you can record the reading. When the sampling is finished, close the head and close the isolation valve, and then disconnect the sample line from the instrument. To turn the Mini 2 off, we just press and hold the home button for at least two seconds and you'll see the screen goes blank. Thank you for watching.